Hello everyone, uh, this is another Carbon 60 video by me, Kay Elmer. Uh, this video is an update to kind of bring you up to speed, what I've been doing the last couple of weeks. And I just wanted to share that with you because I'm kind of on a holding pattern waiting for some more lab equipment. But nonetheless, I keep doing stuff in my kitchen or the K. Elmer lab as I like to call it. Uh, so I just wanted to share with you what I'm learning. Uh, and because I love reading the comments about what you're learning, which helps me and you know, this whole body of knowledge thing. So let's jump in. Uh, first thing, of course, is disclaimers. This is not medical advice. This is not a product endorsement. I do not sell C60 products, so I have no interest, no bias <laughs> to get any money from you. And I don't get, I don't get paid. I don't get any endorsements or nothing. This is not about money to me at all. It is about sharing knowledge. Okay. The topics of this video uh, is using sunflower oil. Um, I'm actually working through the list of different oils to see what happens and if it works for me, if I like it etc. So my most recent batch was uh, using sunflower oil. I want to share that with you. Uh, and also too, I've been trying to perfect the art of salvaging the residual C60 that's left over when you make uh, C60 oil because, uh, you know, it's so expensive and to leave it behind just, just, just kills me. So I've been really trying to work out what's the best way to salvage that and, you know, and, and use it so you don't lose it, right? Uh, and then also let's talk about sources for C60 powder. Uh, or C60 raw, whatever you want to call it. So anyway, let's just jump right in. Hey, um, using sunflower oil. Now, what's the, the coolest thing is, and I'm sorry I didn't have a video of this thing. Um, the, the coolest thing about using sunflower oil was how fast it was and, and the color that it turned. And, and, and the most amazing thing is that there was practically no residue. So let me just tell you, um, I put it in a, in a flask. Uh, I mean, I think I made 500 milliliters of it. Uh, and so when I, I go a one gram per liter, that's my kind of basic formula for everything now, keeps it simple. So uh, I made a 500 milliliter batch, so I put 500 milligrams of, of Bucky, uh, Bucky Labs uh, C60 powder. And so I stirred it for two days on the magnetic stir, and then I put it in my ultrasonic cleaner uh, for 30 minutes uh, in eight eight minute inter intervals and what was amazing to me is that there was practically no c60 residue in the flask or in the jewelry cleaner and so i was really su quite surprised um and so and then the, the next thing that was really surprising was like within two days that thing just turned into this beautiful purple um and so what's really weird though it changes colors depending on the light and so this picture here i took this afternoon in the sunlight to show you that in the sunlight, the it looks like it's crimson, you know, like reddish color, like you see right there. Hopefully, your monitor uh, is showing this to you. Uh, and then, but when, you, when you're when you're pouring it or looking at it, you know, it looks purple. And then, when if it just sits there straight, it looks dark. So, you know, it's just it's really weird. It just has all these different color attributes. But uh, the cool thing was, it, it's just this beautiful purple crimson color no residue and it's awesome now the one thing about now so I've, i'm taking this stuff right and uh, the one thing i've been taking two tablespoons a day for like not two weeks probably and uh and so one so and that's been fine you know normal normal uh you know usage normal everything uh but then one day i decided hey you know uh you know maybe more is better so i like i drank like a quarter cup of it um and uh so i want to point out that more is not necessarily better uh, because that, the effect of that much sunflower oil in, on me personally uh, was unpleasant to say the least. So uh, if you don't want to have the entire contents of your digestive system exit your body in uh, 12 hours, then you probably don't want to do that. So uh, more is not better, uh, but two tablespoons a day is working out. And the other thing about more is not better is the reason I went 30 minutes over here is because that conversation I had with Martin from Red Lion um, he made a comment and he basically cautioned me and said, hey, you know, if you're going to be sonic, sonicating um, the uh, C60 to create that liposomal, uh, be real careful not to do it too long because what uh, the energy can do is it actually creates liposome, but if you do it too long, it'll break them down and, and you'll end up having just C60 suspended in the oil as opposed to dissolved. So I used to do it for an hour at a time, uh, but my most recent batches, I'm only doing it for 30 minutes and look at what it look at how it came out. It came out awesome. So I'm real happy with that. Now here's the economics of it. Um, the coolest thing about this, and I, you know, I just really, really, really want to try to get this message across, which is, you know, here's what it cost me to buy one liter of 
of sunflower oil, $13. I bought it by the gallon. There's 3.79, you know, uh, liters per gallon. So it comes out to 1385 a, a liter. And then I bought uh, my, see, my, the last batch before this most recent one was Bucky Labs C60 powder. And they were selling it for 110 uh, a gram. The 99.95. Now, I just recently did a pricing guide. I'm going to go over that in a second here, uh, where they bu they bumped up the price now to 130, which you know. So, but it's but when I bought it, it was 55. So the total I had invested in this batch was uh, you know 68.85. And you know when you take that hundred, you know this is one liter is 1,000 milliliters. You know you divide that by 30 milliliters, it's 33.33333. Um, you know bottles. You can get 33 of these little bottles out of one liter. And you know, look at this. The price comes down to two dollars and seven cents a bottle. And you know, there is a commercial. There's only one commercial uh, C60 product out there that comes in sunflower oil, and it sells for seventy dollars. So you know, the thing I read all the time when I'm watching all those. There's tons of, well, not tons, but there's uh, at least a, a dozen or so um, interviews. Right? Either Sarah Westall or somebody else is interviewing. Uh, the various manufacturers of C60, uh, you know, a commercial product. Um, you know, the comment sections, I read them all, and it, it, there's so many people are just talking about how they can't afford it. It's so expensive. And, and, you know, and yeah, when you look at it, $70 for this little tiny bottle or someone's charging 60 or 50 or 40, you know, absolutely, you know, people are on fixed budgets. They can't afford that for a tiny little bottle. But my point right here, it's make it yourself. It's two bucks. Two dollars. I mean, just think. Even if your supplies cost ten times more, it'd still be massively cheaper uh, than you if you buy it, uh, you know, online. But I want to quantify that statement. It is cheaper, yes, but it's also home grade, and it's not commercial grade. So when I made this, I'm very satisfied with it, and it's doing the job, and I'm very happy with it. And it cost me two dollars and seven cents for a little bottle. But the commercial product out there is. Uh, I think it's called C60 Plus, and uh, the guy that makes it is Bob Greska. And, you know, I've watched several of his interviews, and the guy is a carbon scientist. This guy is one of the two folks that I know that I've, that I've seen so far that actually could, they produce their own C60, and he produces it, and he's got it down to, where, because he's a carbon scientist, where he's actually got, uh, it's not even in granular form. It is literally a pile of carbon atoms, you know. Uh, I mean, C60 uh, molecules, not atoms. Uh, and, and so it's it's so fine, he had to develop an entire different process uh, per what he, one of his interviews where he had to develop a process just to be able to move it around because it's so fine. It's like it's, it's, it's you know, literally just the molecules, right? A pile of molecules as opposed to, you know, gra grains of molecules. So, um, so, you know, when he produces his, he mentions that his is, you know, he doesn't say how much uh, C60 is in the bottle, but his comment is that there's so much that the oil is black. Uh, mine came out through this. Uh, his comes out black. So, you know, obviously he's uh, a clearly a grade above, you know, uh, what I could produce in my kitchen. Um, so there is a massive comparison. So when you say, oh, $2 compared to 70 I want to quantify that and say, well, that's $2 home grade, me in my kitchen versus Bob Greska, the, you know, this really smart scientist guy making it commercially uh, and, and being able to take it down to the molecular level that he does because he's, you know, all that equipment and brilliance and stuff. So there is a reason it's $70. So anyway, uh, so, you know, but I think there's an argument here that you might want to make it at home. So uh, next thing is the salvaging uh, residual C60. So this is what I've been trying and trying in different ways. And so the one way uh, I kind of come up with is, is just to uh, add more oil. <laughs> Pretty simple, but you know, when it kind of gets complicated. Uh, so this is my first, uh, my first one was with olive oil. Uh, I made a batch of, of C60 olive oil. I used one liter of oil and one full gram of C60. Uh, it was powder form. And the process I used was I just tried, I stirred it for a whole week and then I put it in the Sonic uh, machine for 64 minutes, which is like eight times of eight minutes, right? Because the timer only goes to 480 seconds. And so I stirred between the eight, you know, the, the, the different cycles. So it ran at eight cycles, stir in between with the spoon and keep moving it. Um, you know, and well, I got to back up. I'm sorry. Stir for a week means, because a lot of you guys probably haven't uh, followed all the videos I've made. Stir for a week means you put the oil in a flask, put it on a magnetic stirrer, 
add the C60 inside and then turn the machine on your stirrer and the stir machine stirs it you know and you cover it with a box or a towel so it doesn't stay in the light and so you just let it sit there and you let it stir for a week and then I would take it out of the flask pour it into an ultrasonic cleaner which is this thing and then I would run the cleaner for eight times each time goes to 480 seconds and every time uh, that it stops I stir with a spoon and then turn the machine back on and, I, and that comes out to 64 minutes and that's the process for making this batch in specific uh, and so what you're seeing right now is after I ran um, all the uh, C60 oil out of the flask uh, in the machine uh, this was at the bottom of the cleaner okay the, the ultrasonic cleaner and so that's what you see so the goal of salvaging the residual C60 is how do I you know how do I use this I don't want to throw it away uh, I've just made a full batch awesome you know looks great but I don't want to throw this away because it's expensive so what did I do so the next thing that I did was I decided to start doing this little technique uh, where I would take uh, I, I would just take whatever was sitting in the jury cleaner I would you have to wait until the thing cools off you run a little thing like that for 64 minutes it gets hot and you know you don't want to burn it out and have to buy a new one so let it completely cool off give it a few hours and then you start over again and so I just used the residual C60 that was in the bottom of the cleaner but I decided okay well instead of pulling you know putting in a full batch of oil let me just go half of the batch so the first batch was a full liter so the second batch that I put in was half of that which was only 500 milliliters and you know it didn't stir first I just poured the oil in um, and I turned it on eight cycles for you know it's eight minutes times eight uh, runs for 64 minutes and between cycles I stirred it with a with a spoon and what you're seeing here pictured is this is just the plain olive oil and this is what the second batch looked like so it definitely picks up without having to use a magnetic stir and that's a really important point here is that I didn't use the magnetic stir I just went straight in oil in machine turn it on and hey you know this is how how rich and dark that the oil came out the c60 oil so that was uh, into my you know I mean that was definitely a success because this looked exactly like the first batch and I had been able to you know recover uh, and and salvage the residual c60 and so now after that second batch this is what it looked like because you know it was like almost there was nothing there but I took a paper towel wiped it out and this was what was left of the c60 so at the end of the day, the reality is, is you're never going to use 100% of it. There's still going to be a little bit left. I mean, yeah, maybe you can, you know, try it, but, you know, it's, it's just such a little amount. But you can definitely salvage the, the you know, this amount by just putting in 50% of the first one, and you're going to get a really good batch on the second, on the second run. So just to do that one more time, uh, I tried with coconut oil. And so I ran a, a full batch of coconut oil was uh, 500 milliliters with 500 milligrams of C60. That's that one for one formula again. Um, I stirred it overnight in a magnetic stir. Uh, I sonicated it for 60, is that even a word? Sorry. Uh, <laughs> I, uh, I, I ran it in the machine for 64 minutes, uh, eight cycles, da 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 da, stir in between and then put that one away and it was beautiful purple okay uh, and so what you're seeing now is the next day uh, after I just let it sit on the counter and, and cool off uh, this is what was uh, in the bottom of the ultrasonic cleaner after the first batch so then what did I do well I went and I poured in uh, just plain coconut oil into the cleaner it didn't stir it all first I just poured it in the cleaner it was 50% of the first batch so the first batch was 500 the second batch was 250 milliliters and I ran it again for the same amount of time as I just mentioned stir in between and when the cool thing was was I took I, I remembered to keep the first batch to make a comparison but this picture here shows you this is just what the plain coconut oil looks like it's like practically clear this is the first batch and this was the second batch so you know it's just amazing that the second batch actually came out darker uh, and was able to you know you know I, I guess suck up or you know more of the C60 could uh, dissolve um, in that second batch but it definitely came out a darker purple and again you know when I wiped it out it was pretty much the same result uh, this is the auto olive oil wipeout, but it was exactly the same as the coconut oil just a little bit in fact when you look in this thing uh, after the second batch you know you can't even you can see this 
kind of like a shine. You can't really see it. You don't notice it until you wipe it out that there's actually something there. There's that little left. So uh, I highly encourage all you guys when you're making your C60, uh, run it a second time if you're not already doing so. I may be just, you know, preaching to the choir. You guys all figure this out because it is kind of uh, simple. But, you know, hey, I just wanted to share that with you because that's what's happening and that's what I'm finding out. And, and, and by the way, this these two batches, the coconut and the olive oil I just showed you, uh, that was before I, I decided to start going only to 30 minutes. So now I'm pretty much just running everything at 30 minutes and not 60. Um, and as you saw, good results. So uh, with that said, now for all you following along at home, you realize that it's, you, you have residual in two places. Uh, one is in this thing after you're done zapping it. And the other one is in the flask. And so I want to talk about that for a second. Going back to the olive oil uh, batch, um, there is a residual amount of, of C60. This is after one week of, of you know this magnetic stirrer spinning around in a one liter flask with one liter of oil and a gram of C60 and I poured it into the machine. Uh, I had to do it in two batches because those little machines can only do uh, half a liter. And after the, you know after I poured it all out and as much as I could try to swish it around and try to get all that you know into the machine, this is what's left in the flask. And, you know, and, and so, I, you know, there is definitely a residual amount that will be left behind in the flask. Uh, so there's a couple of thoughts that uh, I have about that. And, and clearly, I had a really uh, great uh, Twitter conversation about making C60. I think uh, it's Chris's name on Twitter. You go, guy. And, and it kind of, we were talking about the metallic taste of the Purple Power C60 um, when you make it in an in a ultrasonic cleaner. And it kind of occurred to me that... You know, I think it's like, like a soda can. You're kind of picking up the taste of this metal and maybe we shouldn't be making C60 in the metal and instead just leave it in the flask. And so there's a really good idea to that which is like, well, yeah, that's probably true. You, you're probably picking up a little bit of, of a metallic uh, like taste to it. And at the second thing too, if you just use just the flask and put the flask inside the, inside the uh, jewelry cleaner, right? Um, then you don't have two places where the uh, C60 can be left behind. You only have one, and you have a little bit better control. Uh, so that's one thought, right? So obviously you need a bigger ultrasonic cleaner if you're going to be doing that. So that's the other, you know, that's the, the con to that pro is that you have to have a bigger one. And I actually have an industrial-sized one. Uh, I just haven't broke it out yet. I'm waiting for my, uh, my next experiment. I'll, I'll do a video on my new big one. Uh, I'm just, this is the last batch I ran with the little guy. So that's one thought. The other thought I want to share with you is the fact that, look at this here. You see these things? You shouldn't be able to see C60, okay? C60 is, you, you, from you know that other video I did, it's like 60 atoms connected together like a soccer ball. You should not be able to see grains. And so that was one of the things I was like looking at this thing and I was trying to figure out how do I, you know, how do I salvage that or what do I do with that and what, do, you know. And then I, then I started thinking ind independently that, you know, I, that I need to, like, you know, crush this thing in a mortar and pestle or something. But all of these little grains need to be grinded down before I put it in the oil. Otherwise, you know, these little grains of C60 clumped together uh, are not going to dissolve. And then it, it was like serendipity. That's when I had a conversation with Martin from Red Lion where he was talking about, oh, he pulverizes his first. And that's when I said, well, I'd like to buy some of that pulverized because that would ultimately solve this problem and re reduce the amount of residual C60 if it was grounded down, you know, like pulverized. And so that was the start of, uh, of you know, asking him to, you know, sell me some. And then he decided he'd sell me some. And now it's listed on his site where he actually sells it to everybody. So, uh, you know, so that's kind of why I got into that whole I want to buy pulverized because, you know, it's just, to me, this is a waste right here. So talking about pulverized. Um, the third subject here on this video is talking about the C60 suppliers. And so uh, I don't, I'm going to make a separate video on how C60 is extracted from coal, uh, charcoal or whatever. I don't even know what the source materials are so far. I'm still working on that. But uh, if you go shopping for C60 powder or C60, you know, pulverized or whatever, uh, this I wanted to kind of share with you that research because I really got deep into it uh, most recently. And the first thing that you'll find out, other than uh, your options are other than a percent purity, is as I go to all these different uh, manufacturers and chemical companies that produce C60 raw, uh, you know, they kind of have like three basic ways that they're selling it. Uh, and they have the basically regular is they basically extract it uh, through um, reagents, 
right, which is using other chemicals to pull out the C60 and separate it from the C70 and all the other different forms of carbon. Uh, so they use reagents, and then they have this vacuum oven purification process where they bake off the, the benzene and all these other different uh, elements within it, and they finally bake it off to the point, kind of like distilling alcohol. They, just, they get it down to where it's just C60 left. Everything's been burnt off. Uh, and then, of course, then there's that's purified. And then, and that's also also the word. The other word that I, I see um, used in the industry is sublimed. So if you see purified or sublimed, that just simply means that uh, when they made the regular, they took it an extra step to get rid of all of those impurities. And then the last one is the pulverized, which is, uh, you know, again, uh, Red Lion uh, is the only one that actually is selling pulverized C60, according to Martin. Uh, they had to build their own machine to do it, so it's quite, you know, prior, uh, proprietary. So uh, my most recent purchase is the pulverized uh, version of C60. I just got it, and I'm going to make a whole video on just how to do that because it, it requires a lot of extra steps uh, if you don't want to screw it up. And this stuff is not cheap, you know. So let's, you know. So anyway, I'll cover that in another video. But what I want to share with you today is the pricing guide. So uh, of the C60 uh, suppliers. Uh, I put it all together in a pricing guide for you guys out there looking for C60 and or interested in just where you can get it uh, cheaper or closer or whatever. So uh, let me just pop this guy up, and there we go. So sorry for the visual here; it didn't kind of. It's hard to kind of show you two separate tables, but it's important that you'll figure out why. And so right up here, this table up here is. Uh, let me walk you through it. It's the best price per gram based on the purity level up here. So, I mean, there are lower purities of like 99.0, but I just 99.5, 99.9, 99.95, and that's kind of where I live is right here. Uh, and then you can actually get 99.99 where they take it to the ultimate level and they just get it down to you literally using just pure C60, uh, no other toxins or anything, nothing in there, uh, in there uh, mixed in with it. Uh, and so that's usually called that's the sublimed or the purified version of it so and and then of course the quantity so I kind of have two tables here and I want to share that with you the first table I made was if you only can afford one gram at a time because you know this whole monetary issue is really such a big deal to everybody and not everybody can just you know go and buy everything you need anytime you want so uh, this one here is basically the, the lowest the smallest quantity that these these vendors these suppliers will sell you Okay, and so here's the pricing guide for the lowest quantity that they will sell to anybody who asks and what the costs are based on percentages. So you can kind of take a look at here and you know what's really, really cool is that I found this materials technology research um, uh, company and they sell 99.95 for $49 a gram. I mean, that is awesome. Uh, you know, I mean, you go to, you know, just as an example, I've been buying, I've, I've been buying from Bucky Labs, uh, my first two, two purchases, uh, and I was buying it for 110 a gram, and I, I told you earlier, it was, it, they bumped it to 130, so now it's 130, but I was buying it at 110 a gram, and here's this guy selling it for 49 a gram, and that is, that's like awesome. So I go, I went ahead and contacted this, uh, this company I, and I just asked them, okay, well, you know, how do you guys, you know, handle there's, it's not like an online store. So you just have to email them and then, and then say, this is what I want. Um, you know, which, which, you know, purity level, how many grams, and then they'll send you an invoice and then you can then get back with in touch with them. Uh, either with a, you know, obviously if you're a company, you'll use a purchase order, but you can also use a credit card. So if you have a credit card, you go and email them what you want, which one you want, and then they'll send you an invoice and then you get a hold of them again with a credit card. I'm, I'm assuming you call them and give them your credit card number and, and you're good to go. And that's how you can buy from these guys. Oh, um, of course, link is provided in the comment section. You can link to this document. All of these words right here are all hyperlinks. And so you can just click on it. Boom, there you go. So, um, and that's, and so that's if you buy one gram. So what I wanted to kind of point out though, for the, for those of you guys who have the means, that if you buy uh, C60 in larger quantities, that you can literally save uh, just half, half. And so this is why there's a second table here, because I wanted to point out that this is if you just buy the lowest quantity, but if you can buy 10 grams or more for, at these different places, you can literally save quite a bit. So up here is when I, I here's the calculation for it. And, and I'll just give you a quick example. If you buy one gram at Bucky, it's $130, okay, for one gram. But if you buy 10 grams at Bucky, it, the price drops to $87 a gram. You save 37%. 
and see how that works. So, you know, you can save a lot of money. I mean, uh, Red Lion, if you buy uh, 10 grams, it drops to $58 at 77 cents a gram. And for someone like me, I've been paying 110 bucks a gram. So 58.77, and they pulverize it for me. You know, hey, right on. That's awesome. Uh, and so you know, I, that's totally I dig it. But you can even get even lower. Of course, 49. These guys don't make. They don't. Uh, materials technology research. They don't have a different pricing. Uh, uh, you know, uh, guide. They don't have a different pricing scheme for bigger quantities. It's just it's all or nothing, right? It's one to ten grams, and this is the price. Uh, same thing with this company called Cheap Tubes. Uh, oh, I'm sorry. The question marks here. That means that if you want to order it, you gotta contact them, and and let them know, and then they'll tell you what the price is. And I just, you know, I'll leave that up to you guys. I just was I was busy and I couldn't email everybody, and so I did email a couple other guys, and I haven't heard back. But anyway, so uh, the idea though is, you know, go ahead and email these guys. But these are some of the prices to give you an idea of what's going on. Uh, but you know, the best one here is amazing. Is Solaris? Solaris is in Canada. So obviously the, the shipping cost would be a little uh, different, but um, Solaris up here, this is amazing. I mean, if you want to buy 99, but you know, the highest quality they go is 99.9. Uh, but you know, it's 99 bucks for one gram, if you just buy one gram from Solaris. But look at how much they charge if you drop it to 59. You know, for uh, if you buy 10 grams, $59.60 per gram, you save 49%. I mean, that's just unbelievable. Uh, how much you could save if you can buy in you know bigger quantities and if you have friends that make this stuff maybe you guys could pull together but you know there's a lot of money you can save uh, by buying in bulk go ahead uh, the link is uh, available in the comment section um, and I uh, hope you uh, this is helpful to you okay so that's that and the last slide is the thank you part um, hey thank you I uh, really appreciate again one more time uh, all the really kind comments it, it's just unbelievable and I, I get a lot of inspiration from that and and it really motivates me to keep moving forward thank you again for taking time to watch this video uh, supporting uh, what we're doing here thank you for sharing what you're doing and, and I get great ideas from the comment section so you know hey keep it up uh, I'd love to hear how you guys are doing it uh, I'm on Twitter if you want to just you know jump in and say hi uh, and all of that so hey thanks a lot have a great day and I hope this video was helpful Aloha